Hi, my name is Nacieli and today's tutorial is this tiny little bull terrier dog in an amigurumi keychain. I made this one with a 3mm hook and a compatible yarn. I use a 5mm eye and a 7mm nose. Um, if you uh, like making different kind of breeds, you can check it out my other patterns. I already posted this Beagle, this French Bulldog, the Pug, and I'm about to uh, record this Schnauzer. So, and I also made some cats that I'm still gonna post. So, different kind of cats. And you can make the whole collection. I'm gonna link down below my keychain playlist if you like making tiny amigurumis. So let's get started. So uh, we start by doing a magic ring. I'm using here a three millimeter hook. If you want to do a bigger dog, you can use a thicker yarn and a compatible hook. You can do it in any size you want. And if you want to make it smaller, you can do it. Um, if you will use like a 1.75 millimeter hook and a compatible yarn. So now uh, I did the magic ring. We're going to start by placing six single crochets in the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochets in the magic ring. Pull down here. So that's our first round. For our second round, we're gonna make one single crochet and one increase three times. So one single crochet and one increase once, one single crochet and one increase twice and one single crochet and one increase a third time. So we finished this round that was round number two with nine stitches. For round number three, we're just gonna make nine single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine single crochets. Now, uh, so we finished this round, that was round number three with nine stitches. For round number four, we're gonna start by doing two single crochets and we're gonna do two single crochets, one increase three times. So one, two single crochets and one increase once, one, two single crochets and one increase a second time and one and two single crochets and one increase a third time so we finished this round that was round number four with 12 stitches for round number five we're just gonna make 12 single crochets so i made one here and put down my marker I'm gonna make it 12 so one single crochet two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve single crochets. So we finished this round. That was round number five with twelve stitches. For round number six, we start by doing. Uh, we're gonna make three single crochets and one increase three times. Three single crochet, one increase three times. One, two, 
three single crochets and one increase one time one two and three single crochet and one increase two times and one two three single crochets and one increase three times so we'll finish this round that was round number six with 15 stitches for round number seven we're just gonna make 15 single crochets so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and 15 single crochets so we finish round number seven with 15 stitches now we're gonna place the nose and the eyes so we're gonna come here uh, this was round number seven between round number seven and six we're gonna place our eyes uh, and we're gonna count here so this was uh, stitch number 15 so we're gonna place one eye between stitch uh, not between in the 13th stitch so this was 15 14 13 so now we're gonna take here five millimeter eye and place it just right here 15 14 no, let me get close because it's too small 15 14 13 so we're gonna place one eye here and then now the next one is going to be on the ninth. So 1, 2, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, uh, 10, and 9. So this is going to be the second one. So between the eyes, we have three stitches. 1, 2, 3. Let me just get it. Uh, between and below. So here is 1 two and one increase you see that this is close when you squeeze it out you just see three stitches and now for the nose uh, we're gonna take our seven millimeter nose and then place between the first and the second round we're just gonna find here a really center lice place yeah and there you have it now i'm gonna place all the security locks and i come back so i place here the security locks and now we're gonna start round number eight and we're gonna do three single crochets and one decrease three times so one two Three single crochets, one decrease, one time, one, two, three single crochets, one, one decrease, two times, one, two, three single crochets, and one decrease, three times. So I finished this round, that was round number eight with 12 stitches. For round number nine, we're gonna make now the ears. We're gonna start by doing uh, six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochet. Now we're gonna make our first ear. For our, our ear, we're gonna just take the front loop of the stitch. The stitch has two loops. Can you see? You have, the stitch has two loops. We're gonna just only take the front loop, just this one. And we're gonna do all the stitches together in the ear, in the same loop here. So one uh, slip stitch, then we chain one. Now we're gonna do one half double crochet and one double crochet 
Now we're going to chain twice, one and two times. And we're going to do one, we're going to skip the first here from the hook. And in the second uh, chain from the hook, we're going to do one single crochet. Now we're going to make um, another double crochet. And we're going to uh, close here with one slip stitch. So that's our first ear. Now we're going to do four single crochets uh, normally with both loops. So one, two, three, and four. So this was our first ear. Now we're going to do our second ear. So front loop again only. So we have two loops here, just going to take the front one and we're going to start by doing one slip stitch. Then uh, we chain one and we do one double crochet all together in all in the front loop. One double crochet. Now we're going to chain twice. One, two chains. Now one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One double crochet. One half double crochet. And one slip stitch. All together and all using the front loop only. So we finish now the second ear and we got here in our marker. So we did the second ear in the last stitch. So we finished this round um, with 12 uh, stitches without counting the all the stitches we make in the ear. Look how cute it's turning out. <laughs> So now, uh, for round number 10, we're going to start by doing one single crochet. One single crochet. And then we place our marker here in this first stitch. Now we're going to increase four times. So two single crochets together in each stitch from the base. So one increase, two increases, three increases, four increases. Now we do one single crochet here. Remember that we use just the front loop for the ear, so we have now one back loop. Uh, now we're gonna make one uh, single crochet in the back loop. So we're gonna find here the back loop and then just do one single crochet on it. Uh, we're gonna decrease twice here in the front of the head. So front loops, we do one decrease. And two decreases. And now we finish this round by doing one single crochet here in the back loop from the ear. So we finished this round, that was round number 10, with 14 stitches. And I'm going to step the head. Now we're going to start uh, round 11. So start by doing one single crochet. One single crochet. Now I'm going to place my marker. And now I'm going to make uh, one single crochet and one increase four times. So I made one single crochet here. Now one single crochet and one increase one time. One single crochet. And one increase 
two times, one single crochet, and one increase. Three times, one single crochet, and one increase. Four times. Now we're gonna do one single crochet again. And we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna decrease twice now. One decrease and two decreases. So we finished this round. Uh, that was round number 11 with 16 stitches. My head stuffed. Now we're gonna start round number 12. So we're gonna start round number 12, 12 by doing uh, by decreasing two times. So one decrease and two decreases. Place down my marker here in the first one. So I decreased twice, now I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to increase four times, so four increases. One, increase. Two, increases. Three, increases. And four, increases. Now I do one single crochet here. And I will decrease three times. One, decrease. Two, decreases. And three. So we finished this round. That was round number 12 with 15 stitches. For round 13, we're going to start by doing five uh, single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five single crochets. Now I'm going to increase four times. One, increase, two, increases, and four increases. Now I'm going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, four single crochets, and one decrease. So we'll finish this round. That was round number 13 with 18 stitches. For round 14, 14, we're just gonna make 18 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, and 18 single crochets. So I finished round number 14 with 18 stitches. Now for round 15, we're going to start by doing 7 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven single crochets. Now we're gonna do a popcorn stitch. So in this next stitch, uh, we're gonna start by doing five double crochets, one, all in the same stitch, two, three, four, and five double crochets, now to make this double crochets as a popcorn stitch, we come here in the first two loops for the first double crochet and then we pull through this one. 
Uh, now we're gonna make uh, three single crochets. So one, two, and three single crochets. And now we're gonna do another popcorn stitch in the next stitch. So five double crochets together in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and five double crochets. Now I pull the loop, come here in the first two loops for the first double crochet and pull through with the loop. Now I have a popcorn. And we finish this round with six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five and six single crochets. So I finished this round, that was round number 15 with 18 stitches. And for round number 16, we're just gonna make 18 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen single crochets. For round 17, we're going to start by doing six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochets. Now we're going to decrease three times. So one, decrease, two, decreases and three decreases. Now we're gonna do six more single crochets. One single crochet, two single crochets, three, four, five, and six single crochets. So we finished this round. That was round 17 with 15 stitches. Uh, now, for rounds 18 and 19, we're just gonna do two rounds with 15 uh, single crochets each. So round number 18 and 19. Two three, four, 13, 14, and 15 single crochets. So finish round uh, 18 with 15 stitches and now we're gonna do round number 19 with 15 stitches still. So one, two, 14 and 15 single crochets. So we we'll finish round number 19, still with 15 stitches, and now we're gonna start round number 20. Uh, we we'll, we'll start with six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We decrease three times. One, decrease, two decreases and three decreases and we do six more single crochets one two and three oh no not six more three more single crochets so we finish round uh, number 20 with um, 12 stitches now I'm gonna stuff the body. So I stuffed the body and now I'm gonna start round 21. 
we're gonna start by doing one single crochet and five and chain five so one two three four five chains now we're gonna do four slip stitches in on the chain so one slip stitch two three four slip stitches now uh, we're gonna do five single crochets so one two three four and five single crochets and now we're gonna make the feet uh, so we're gonna do a one popcorn stitch and one single crochet in the same stitch For the popcorn stitch we start by doing four single crochets. So one two Three Four and five single crochets Now we're gonna come here and Pull it up and now we're gonna come in the same stitch that we did the popcorn stitch. We're gonna come back here and do one single crochet. In the next one, we're gonna do one single crochet and one popcorn stitch in the same stitch. So five double crochets first, two, three, four, and five. Now pull through and we finish uh, this round with four single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. So we finish round uh, 21 with 14 stitches. For round 22, we're gonna start by doing two single crochets, one single crochet here in the first, and then we skip the tail, we put the tail here, and then we do the other uh, single crochets next to the tail, so it stays up. Uh, and now we do six decreases, just gonna decrease six times, so one decrease, two, three, four, five decreases, and six decreases. So I finished this round, that was round 22, with eight stitches. Now we're gonna stuff it uh, a little bit and we're gonna cut the yarn with the long tail because now we're gonna do a inverted magic ring we're gonna take a tapestry needle and close it up just gonna stuff a little bit more the body and i come back so i stuffed the body and i place my yarn in the tapestry needle i'm gonna hold the tail back here and we're just gonna take the front loops two at a time and pull through the yarn. This is the inverted magic ring. So the front loops two at a time. And close it up. Now I'm going to come here in the middle and pull, focusing, focusing. and I'm going to tie a little bit of a knot here. And I'm going to use this one to sew in the keychain thing. Uh, so there you have it. There's a little boot terrier. Um, 
So I'm gonna show you um, if you want, because there are all kinds of boots here, here. But if you want, you can paint a little bit of the ears, like uh, the inside of the ear. You can just paint it over. Because it has like a pinkish color. And if you want to make some spots, uh, you can do like in black. So I'm just painting a little bit here. Uh, so if you want to do like a detail here, uh, close to the nose. And I think I'm going to make one of the eyes also in black. So just a little detail I'm going to add here. So the bow tail here uh, has all different kinds of patterns. So I think it's easier to do it like that. Because some just have like a tiny little spot. So there you go. So you can do it like uh, if you have a bow tail here, you can do it like your bet is uh, by painting just the areas that uh, it is spotted. So there you have it. Uh, that's our tiny little boot here. Uh, he, uh, if he falls over a little bit because his body's kind of tiny, so you gotta organize the the feet like that so he can stand. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you like my videos and you wanna see all the new patterns, the cats and the dogs I'm gonna be posting, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, if you're going to do one of my patterns, please tag me on Instagram. I'm going to be uh, really happy to see. I love seeing my patterns getting done all over the world. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.